Nice bit of land you got here, Mikey. Well, thank you, Mike. So, what all are you doing with it? Oh, not much. We just got a little farming and little animals and stuff like that going on. Yeah? You gonna be uh, eating any of this stuff? Uh, no, I'm just raising it for you. No. Oh, that's awful nice of you. <laughs> yeah, hopefully be eating a good percentage of our food from the land eventually. Yeah? Uh, yeah, starting out small. Okay. With the calves. If you'll pan over this way. The calves and the goat. Yeah. What all else do you have? All right, Mike. Over here, we have what is called a chicken tractor. We have six laying hens in here, and this is lightweight, so we can move it around, and it can they can pick the grass and eat bugs along the way. And I do let them run around if I'm out working and get a chance to. Uh, they lay eggs up in there when they're doing it right. Every once in a while, they lay them down in here. But that's about it on the chicken tractor. What else you got, Mikey? Well, we have rabbits. These are white New Zealands. And over to my left, your right, we have black New Zealands who have recently had babies. Uh -huh. The babies on this side are a little over a month old and the ones on this side are a little under a month old. And I like to feed them commercial mix and then lots of green stuff. Now, where Maybe do you that find that green stuff, Mike? Well, either get it out of the garden, some of it, or just in the pasture. Have lots of good rabbit eatings here. Mm. They have plantain they like, burdock they really like, clover, black medic. Uh, back here we have a bamboo patch. They really like the bamboo also. So is there a reason that you keep the white New Zealand and black New Zealand rabbits segregated? <laughs> well, it just worked out that way. I built this the other day because I had the three young does, these are my white does, together and they needed more room. So I built this and these bins happened to be bigger and since they had babies I moved them over there. That's the only reason they're segregated. And this is my buck down here. Yeah. Had a buck earlier, a black buck with the black ones before I got all the white ones, and I think he was sterile. We never had anything happen. Brought him on board, and we've been having rabbits. That'll happen. Look, there's some fine-looking rabbits there, Mackie. What else you got? Well, I have chicks. These, the white ones are Cornish. These are my meat chicks. They're not chicks anymore. Um, the red ones are some Rhode Island Reds that hopefully will all be hens. And the little ones are Bantams. Um, I hope to keep a couple of those to patrol my garden because they're a little easier on the plants than the big guys. One of them died. One of the Bantams. Yeah, that happens sometimes. And then one of the white ones got sick and then we had to So, why are you hoping for hens, Mikey? <laughs> well, the Rhode Island Reds will hopefully be the replacement for my other laying hens. And the white ones are just going to be meat, and we'll go in and look at the other chicks, the stage before this, okay. for, for meat chickens. What are we doing in here, Mike? This is starting out with uh, chicks. These are Cornish crosses. Um, they grow pretty quick. The uh, brown one in there is an exotic chick they sent as a free gift for buying the other ones. I don't even know what it is. Now, does that mean it's worth a lot of money? Uh, probably not. Okay. But it might be good eating. But anyway, once these get bigger, they'll go in the pen where the other ones are. The other ones will move over to my other chicken tractor, that's similar to the one you saw earlier. Mm -hmm. And then I'll get some more to put in here. Good deal. Well, Mikey, I've seen a lot of protein on uh, on the hoof and, and on the claw, but uh, what else you got around here? <laughs> well, I got my son. Yeah? Need him. Okay. But what? we do have the annuals garden. I'm trying to do a lot of perennial stuff, but just a quick view of the annuals. Alrighty. Um, over here we have broccoli. Just harvested one that we ate today. We have a lot of radishes. Most of those, we nibble on them here and there, but most of those go to the rabbits. We have uh, cabbage. We have some peas in the back. Um, and that's it. More broccoli down here. Watch out. Let me take over here. I like to mix up all my stuff. I have lettuce, green beans that'll come up this uh, T 
teepee. I have a watermelon here. Um, a few tomatoes. I just put a little bit of tomatoes in here. I got more in another bed inside the patio. My eggplants are doing real well. I have eggplant coming in. Over here I have a little bit of stuff that's bolting just because it's gotten so hot. I think it's mostly the uh, mosh that is bolting, but this is a salad mix on this side and up on that end where you're pointing now, that's uh, collard greens. I have sweet potatoes in this bed and they're not as far along as I wanted because I had ordered them and kept calling. They wouldn't send them and they kept saying, oh, it'll be another week, it'll be another week, it'll be a month. So I finally just went out and got some. So I would have liked to have had them in a little earlier. Here I have some more tomatoes, uh, some more green beans to grow up these vines, some mustard greens. Some of them aren't looking too healthy. I need to get in there and thin those. I have a bunch of lettuce, broccoli, kohlrabi, some Swiss chard that the uh, spider mites have gotten to, and another eggplant and some broccoli. Well, that's pretty impressive, Mike. Is that all you got? No. Now we get to go to the perennial stuff, which is the fun stuff. Okay.